Hey you guys, good afternoon. So I wanted to come to you guys with this much needed um, love reading. My grandmother came to me in a dream and actually gave me this reading to do. So um, I said, let me get it done. Okay, because it might have a message for some of you in here. So this reading is going to be a little bit different, but very similar. So there is pick a card. You can either pick a pile, like one, two, or three. Pile one, we have selenite pyramid here. Pile two, we have a nice piece of quartz crystal. And pile three, we have a piece of rose quartz crystal, okay? So you can either pick each pile. You can listen to the message for all three. The basis that my grandmother gave me in the dream is what we needed to cleanse out, what we needed to amplify, and what we just need for love, right? So each one of these files will piles are going to set, um, speak on one thing of each, right? So this is going to be what you need if you need to cleanse from love, if you need to amplify in your love life, and what you just need for love, self-love, things of that nature, right? So you can listen to them separately, or you can listen to, like I said, all together, because each pile individually, I'm also going to give a message for each pile, what that pile individually needs for cleansing, amplifying, and for love, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. i move these two out the way. We're going to get started with pile one. I have not looked at these cards, you guys. So pile one, we have with the selenite. Like I said, this is pile. We're talking about what we're going to cleanse, right? What we want to amplify. And I'm sorry, what we need to cleanse from. I had put them down. I had dealt them in reverse. What we need to cleanse, what we need to amplify, and what we need for self-love. So we're going to pull some tarot cards as well. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys your cards. So what you need to cleanse from, it looks like you need to cleanse from conflict and defeat. Um, I feel like in love, you might have taken a solid blow, right? I feel like it might have been something that had to do with your throat chakra. Once you spoke up in a relationship or started to be your true self, you wasn't really accepted, right? So it's kind of like giving you a blow to your confidence as well. And it's just made you take a step back from everything and you just... You feel like kind of defeated, right? This is what you need to cleanse from this type of um, pile one, this type of energy. Um, your ancestors want you to come to them, okay? You can also pray to them, lighting a candle, a white candle or anything like that when you get in times of distrust and um, or grief, okay, to help you cleanse. Do you like a candle ceremony? Um but there's nothing wrong. Know that there's nothing wrong. I've been getting messages the past few days about setting boundaries and standing up for yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. And if that person can't accept you for that, then that's not your problem. It's their per that person's problem, okay? As long as you just continue to be authentic and have that confidence in yourself. But I see this situation has caused you to lose some creativity, um, some belief, self-belief in yourself. So you really need to cleanse from this past love situation, okay, group one? Um, I'm feeling really strongly a cord cutting ceremony for you all. Group, I mean, I'm sorry, card two, what you're going to need to amplify, right? So what do you need to amplify in your love life? It says take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So spirit is telling you to quit being so hard on yourself. It seems that after this situation, you've been very hard on yourself, right? Chill out, rest, get into your feminine energy a little bit, and just take care. Do a lot of self-care on yourself, okay? That's what you really need to amplify. That's what spirit's leading you to. It's actually leading you to the waters right here, spending time under the stars and the moon, doing moon ceremonies possibly, Um uh, I think this is the waning moon on here, letting go. Okay, once again, letting go, maybe taking some um, nice salt baths and she's here walking into the water, you know, by the beach. So maybe some nice salt cleansing baths and things like that also to cleanse the, these um, negative attachments to this past relationship in person. And what you need for self-love or just love period to grow. Do not underestimate the importance of community, the power of community, just gathering around. Right now, you really need the support of your friends and family. And I feel like for some of you guys, you might be closing yourself off, right? And your, your ancestors, your Spirit team that your guides, they don't want you to close yourself off, okay? Things happen, and they're not always so great, right? But this is a time that you really 
support and get the support. And I'm feeling like the support of your family, your friends, your elders, your children. Okay. Like I said, your ancestors, spirit team, people that's living and non-living. Okay. Use your community for support. That right there is going to make you feel a certain type of love and feel secure with yourself again. And it's going to kind of light that flame back up in you. That was kind of taken as you've went through the situation here. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like, okay, so some of you guys with this six, this Eight of Cups here, um, you've really been in your feelings, and I feel like some of you guys are just wasting time, and some of you guys also might be, um, I feel like, taking notes. I don't know why when I do readings, my nose runs, but taking notes of, like, everything that every person has said to you, and I feel like it's causing you to go back into some of your... Um, your bad habits, it might be drinking, things of that nature, right? And spirit's not wanting you to do that. It's letting you know that not everything is lost, okay? I posted a message earlier. Sometimes you just have to step back, yeah, with this devil card. So you guys have really been drowning yourself in your sorrows and your, um, your devil energy, your lower self-energy, right? Your codependencies. This person may have been a codependency for you. Okay, no bueno. Like I said, this person really took you out of character of who you truly are. And that's just something you don't need. So you definitely need to do a cleanse, okay? Group one. Yeah, and this is something that's going to take time, okay? You're not going to heal overnight. You will be okay. But literally, take time with yourself. And like Spirit says, take that break and give yourself tons and tons of self-care right now. Because that's what you're needing, group one. Okay. All right. Oh, let's get a message from your ancestors. Let's see what your ancestors have to say. After all, this reading was inspired by my ancestors. So we got to count them in. Okay. Let's see what your ancestors want to say to you. Give me two cards. Okay. So two of baskets. This situation was just no good for you. It was very toxic, actually. It was like a situation where you guys were like, um, holding things over each other's heads, doing things to hold on to this thing. Like um, some of you guys might've even been doing spell work on each other to try to hold on, you know, feeding each other bullshit really. And it's just, it's like I said, it's no bueno and it's taken its toll on you. Definitely something you need to cleanse from. Yeah, spirit says that you had to defend yourself in this situation, okay? It's really made you not who you are. Like you got a whole different head on now because you've been so like defensive because maybe fingers were being pointed and blamed for things and things like that. Like I said, and there's a lot of codependencies, drinking issues and things like that. I might see a lot of you guys have fallen off in your spirituality um, and your money and things like that. And that nature, I really feel like some of you guys really was hexing each other. Okay. And the spells have just worn off and it's not working. Okay. Um, that's why I warn people about doing love spells like that shit's no joke and you can really wind up with the wrong partner okay let don't put your ego in it and let spirit guide you so what it is that you need all right pile one if you need some help call me okay <laughs> let's cleanse that and get that shit gone let's move on to pile two pile two okay so you guys got a couple of cards and you guys got the quartz so pile two most of the stuff that you're doing right now, you're doing right. This is what my grandma says. You guys need to amplify. Keep doing more of But We're going to go through. So cleansing. Pile one. What, are you, what have you been cleansing from? So you've been cleansing from past love. I feel like this is more emotional hurt um, and possibly death. Okay. So you might be getting over like um, death of family members or things of that nature. Right. Spirit also tells you group two to light a candle. Okay, send that memory off to your loved one. Keep them in your heart. Keep them, excuse me, sorry. Keep your loved ones around you, your ancestors around you, the ones that have passed on. Just because they're not with you anymore doesn't mean that they're not with you anymore, okay? So that's what you're cleansing from, it seems like. And you've been cutting clear boundaries with yourself, stopping the overthinking and things of that nature, right? Really trying to find, I feel like trying to come out of this gloomy like I said, this depression from these lost loved ones, right? And finding this brighter day over here. You guys have really been working hard, new beginnings. You realize that you have the power, you're the magician. And so like you're yielding that. And and um, really in the point of, um, you've been cleansing from that negativity, right? And really making um, conscious decisions to keep positive thoughts in your mind. You're right on point. And because you've been doing this, 
and cleansing from these past losses and things like that. New love is coming in, okay? You will definitely have new beginnings. So you're going to have new ideas, relationships with people, things like that coming in. And just keep amplifying those energies because the more that you think positive, the more you're going to attract those things to you. Good job, group two. Okay, yeah, once again, okay, so you guys have literally be setting boundaries. No, wait, postpone, pause, and say no. So whatever question you have right now about something, the universe is telling you no. It's not a good time to do it. Take the time to um, separate everything that's going on and kind of move through this storm first, okay? Because there might be some stormy days ahead and Spirit's wanting you to make sure that you're protected yourself. So make sure that you're protected for the storms and things that are coming your way. Um, and the situations and spirit just said, and if you feel lonely, it's okay because you're standing up for yourself, right? So don't worry about what other people have to say. You're building like this grand pyramid and you know what you want in your life and you know what you want more of. Amplify those things that you want more of and keep saying no and putting those boundaries up, right? Spirit says, that's the truth. Okay. That's, that's what it is. So keep putting those boundaries up for the things that you don't want in your life. Okay. I see, like I said, you're cleansing from those types of things, being people pleasers, um, always being there, pouring out for other people. You've learned to really master yourself, okay? You've learned how to, um, and this is what you need for for love, okay? So you're really learning how to um, embrace yourself, embrace these new beginnings, and how to transmute your pain. You've grouped two, you've learned how to take the things that have hurt you in the past, and to, like I said, turn it into something positive. And Spirit wants you to keep amplifying that, like I said, because the more you amplify that energy, the more good that's going to come into you. Oh, shoot. Group two, we're going to take them, Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're coming out of place of ruin of all this overthinking that you was once doing. These cycles are closing. You've looked the man in the mirror. You might be making physical changes. You might need to make some changes to your diet, your nutrition. You might already be having these things. If not, put these things into motion. Make those changes looking at the man in the mirror. Whatever these past situations are, you really started to look differently at things. You started to speak up for yourself, and that's the energy you need to use. Some of you guys might be public speakers. You might have a message that you want to get out. Keep being authentic and putting yourself out there. Spirit's going to grant you with these new ideas and things to line you up with your future purposes. You're definitely on your way to wish fulfillment. So make sure that you're taking the time to relax, chill, take care of yourself, spa days, um, get you some massages. Really keep loving on yourself, okay? Besides that group too, I don't feel like I have much of a message for you besides that. Like keep your eyes on these brighter days ahead of you've been doing already. Like I said, amplify this, okay? This is the energy because it's working for you and you feel it's working for you. You feel the changes and it's kind of got your mind at ease a little bit. Yeah, the big queen. So you're being granted with this new nurturing energy right now, okay? Um... This empress energy, like you can, you're giving birth to new things, okay? Whether it be a new relationship, a new love, new business ideas, um, new foundations in your home, whatever it is, you're definitely being granted this, okay? I feel like you've taken the time with this five of coins here to plant some seeds and also to start growing. You've really started to get into your spirituality, and things and just look at the world straight on instead of being caught in between um, these energies that are around you. You've taken the chance to look at yourself straight on. You've made some quick decisions. And it's like you're finally at this point where, like I said, this nurturing card keeps coming up. So I feel like you guys really do need to pay attention to what you're eating if you haven't already. Um and drinking as well, if you haven't already. But really nurture yourself. You feel this energy in you. And it's because, like, you've literally been through every single step. Like, you've ma you're have you mastering this now. Okay? Um, Spirit wants to let you know, like, that, yeah. So make sure that you put, like, the fire under your ass. And kind of um, to keep this energy going. Okay? That's a message from your ancestors as well. Thank you very much, group two. You're doing great. So keep up, keep, uh, keep on keeping on. <laughs> and group three, last but not least, okay? You guys have rose quartz. So this is a group of love, okay? What do you need to do for just love, period? Loving yourself, self-love, things of that nature. So in the past, let's see what you need to cut out.
Let's see. With this hope card and this victory of success, I feel like in the past that you've cut out um, all this yellow. I feel like you've finally, group three, to love yourself, you cut out um, not believing in you, right? Standing up for yourself. You're starting to have more hope for yourself, right? So I feel like you cut out the negative self-talk, um, the negative thinking in your mind, and things like that. And because of that, you're having much victory and success. And you're feeling like this love and a new sense of confidence coming in. Yeah, look, you're having an awakening. Energetic upgrades, okay? A new way of being and integration. You're really finding a new way to live. And this is really going to help you ascend, group three. Um, and so exactly what it is that you're supposed to be. You're literally ascending right now into your higher self. You might be having a lot of downloads. And this is all because you took the time to cleanse these negative energies there in the past. You cleanse the self-doubt. You taken the time to kind of find yourself and you see where you stand in this world. And you're just starting to emu emulate this light that's shining out of you. You might go places and people tell you like, oh my God, you're glowing. Your energy, this, that, this, that, right? And it's because you've taken the time and you're really getting in touch with your intuition. I feel like you guys... um possibly dream a lot at night, right? You might be like me. I dream a lot. My ancestors visited me in dreams. I get downloads, spirit, you know, codes, all that shit in my dreams all the time. So you guys are literally closing the door. This is what you need to keep doing as far as to keep loving yourself. Keep that door closed. Keep those doors closed. When things come back that used to bother you in the past, keep the door shut. Don't let them in, okay? Because you guys have found this new renewed since, and, and you actually took the time and you've completed cycles, okay? So karmic cycles that were literally holding you back. Spirit says you've had victory and success in clearing those out. So the way for you to keep moving forward and keep this, yourself in tune is to keep loving yourself and keep those doors closed don't open them up when those old people old things and stuff want to come back knocking because they will okay but you don't have to open it up it's up to you whether or not you open that door spirit says to keep it closed Okay, yeah, self-doubt. So you guys were once in a place of self-doubt. Like lots of where you were just beating yourself up around the bush. I said around the bush. Okay, but just beating yourself up though, seriously, right? You're finally not in that place anymore. Your money's coming back around. Like you're starting to make money. You've been working hard. You've literally been working hard at just clearing this energy out, period, you know? which is very good. And you've worked hard at setting boundaries for yourself, getting back into your creativity. And because, like I said, you're closing these old doors, new ones are definitely going to open up for you. Yeah, definitely setting boundaries. Some of you guys might be like a water sign, I feel. Um, I feel like sometimes people might confuse you. And the things you say and the things you do, but it's like in your mind, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. And I don't even have to explain to you why I shut this door. You know what I mean? But you guys, I, I appreciate that about you. You're really getting into your own. You're becoming, <laughs> look at that. I was going to say you're becoming a queen, but you're literally becoming a rock star. You're starting to shine and be in your own light. Okay. And things are going to move fast for you. As you keep building up this momentum, Spirit says things will be moving fast. Like, you'll be at the top before you know it. Some of you guys might actually be singers. You might be public speakers. You might um have just be someone that's, like, out in the open, out in the world, out in the public eye, you know, like a star or something like that. If you're not, you're going to be, okay? You're going to definitely be risen to that fast. And it's because Spirit wants you, like, um to keep this positive attitude. You've been through so much. You've gotten really dirty. But still in all, you still take the time to care for others, right? You still take the time to care for others, do things for others, and have a good outlook on life. Like I said, you changed your outlooks. And even with you being so dirty and so shums up, you keep that smile on your face. And because of that, you're stepping into your light. Pretty soon, you'll be going outside here, okay? And you'll definitely be in the sun and definitely be shining. So good job, group three. <laughs> keep on. Like, keep loving yourself in those ways, okay? Let's get a message from your ancestors. See what they have to say to you. Group three, what is your ancestors? What is a message from your ancestors? Group three. Yeah, I feel like you guys let some things go. At one point, you was feeling so down and stabbed in the back. 
But your ancestors say like you've literally stayed loyal, like you were staying loyal. And it was like till shit just got bare, you know? Like I said, you were taking care of others before you could take care of yourself. And with doing that, it literally like it hurt you, right? But you took the time because you wanted to have a different relationship. So you took the time to heal. And your ancestors are giving you the blessing to heal. And what you're doing is healing, not just for you. You're healing for you and past generations. Okay. And this new energy is that's going to be coming in is literally going to be coming in very quickly. Okay. So like I said, take the time to keep nourishing yourself. Um, but you're definitely granted like uh, you're granted power right now. All right, group three, I hope that you guys got a little bit of confirmation through this reading. Thank your ancestors, my ancestors, our spirit guides. Love you. Have a good day.